Senior pro for Sheffield Wednesday might be right on this about saying just to calm down a little bit. Hello and welcome to this video. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you are doing well and you are in a good mood. A uh, couple of days till Christmas, as you might have just seen. I have read on the hair. Uh, mainly because when my little girl was born, I did pink and blue. I didn't know she was born and had some blue hair for my little boy. Uh, so yeah. Um, if you could like, share, and subscribe to the channel, much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing lets me know like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live and all that good stuff. Um, so, Ethereum Pro for Wednesday said that we need to be, um, we need to, we need to not put too much pressure on Bailey Kadamartry. And this is, this is coming from Will Vokes. Uh, he said, I've been impressed, but I do think everyone needs to calm down a little bit, Vokes said while smiling. Uh, I mean that in the best way, we don't want to put massive pressure on the 18-year-old to be the one to lead us, uh, lead the line from a key puzzle. Like I say, I mean in the best possible way. The young lad, he's still got so much to learn, but he's taken really well. He's shown he can be in the right place at the right time, and he's got loads of work on his game left to do. He might go five games and not play great, and that's completely understandable at his age. I'm really happy with him, and I hope that doesn't come across in the wrong way because he works really hard. He can run in behind. He's physical. We, I really like him, but I can't pressure on him in the position. And he's right. He's 100% right. We do not want to put added pressure on a young 18-year-old kid. We don't want to put added pressure on any of the youngsters who might come into it. Because at the end of the day, we want them to come in and play the best football they can possibly play to their best of their ability. And if you start putting pressure on it, it's not going to go down well. I think you have to start looking very carefully on how you judge and how you use uh, Bailey. And just making sure, and remember, he's only a young lad. Uh, so this could take a little bit of getting used to uh, with him. And so he gets used to the situation. Now, here's the other thing that I will say here as well. So one of the things that we know we need to massively bring down the squad age, uh, and it's just something we've known for a long time. We've thought about this for a while, that the squad age is too high. Now, one of the names being touted in the media that could be leaving is Lee Gregory. Now, let's, let's not get this uh, twisted. I'm all for somebody who's very sentimental when it comes to players, and I have been at times, and I understand it. We all are. But He's not getting into the first team at the minute. He got a year left. He got six months left on his contract. This is something where I think we say thank you for your service and what you did for to help us get up originally. Maybe we start to look at uh, new new blood. And if he if he's in that kind of thing, he wants to move away because he wants to play regular football because he's 35 now. Sitting on the bench won't be doing any good. I think it's one of those things where you turn around and go, okay, thank you, Lee, for your service. You've done well. you got us up to the uh, championship, back to your cross and all the hard work you do. And you just say, thank you for your service and you move on. And I think there's a couple of players who will hit that kind of thank you for your service and move on. And I... It one of the things, it's going to be an interesting, it's going to be interesting to see what happens when Sheffield Wednesday go into this January window. Because this is the first time in a while where we don't really have a clue of what kind of player we're bringing in or what kind of player we're looking out for. Under Darren Moore, we had a kind of a idea and an identity of what player was coming in and what player was maybe going to be getting into the breach. But with Danny and Be Beadle, we haven't got a clue. We know Beadle likes to work, get you some good youth players in, which is something I am 100% down for. If we can start using youth, that would be much better. Uh, and even if we got it in our own academy to come through. But this is one of those things where you look at it and you go, what, what Volksy said about Bailey, they need to just let him grow and enjoy your football and not put too much pressure on him. But also you need to get that next person in who can come in and help. Uh, maybe it is someone who's a little bit more experienced. Maybe it's not. We don't know. Um, it'll be interesting to see who we actually bring in for that uh, kind of role because we, do, we know we're going to need a striker. We know we're probably going to need a goalkeeper by the looks of what the report said. 
midfield is somewhere we're going to need. We, we need probably someone in nearly every position. And it'll be interesting to see what Danny gets allowed to do and what Danny gets to bring in. I'm 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 looking forward to seeing what happens in the transfer window. I'm also ready for being extremely busy, and I for one cannot wait for it. Um, granted, I've got to re redo my new normal because the little and being here, but it's that whole thing. I am intrigued by it. Um, also, you see me wearing a fan hub hat. This is just because it's the hat that I had on me. Uh, fan hub. If you don't know what it is, it's a football social network for. Uh, football fans, you can support Wednesday, you can track your mileage. If you go to a lot of games and you track your mileage, sometimes they'll give you points to, for free beer uh, at the thing. Uh, but I have a golden ticket. The golden ticket is P-U-N-M-W-8. Please go and uh, sign in with it. Uh, you'll get 100 fan points to start off with. You can predict your lineup. You can predict uh, the predict five. So the predict, predict five for this week is I will... To go through it with you now. The predict five is because it's in progress. Uh, I've, I've had a shocker. I only got 10 out of 50. Um, I got Middlesbrough right. I got Everton wrong. I got Blackpool right. I got Chelsea, uh, Newcastle wrong. And tonight's one, I've gone for a draw versus Liverpool West Ham, which I'm probably going to get wrong. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. But if you want to go and be part of Fan Hub, please do. Then you can find me on it uh, and follow me and Punk Chef 41 on there, as you can imagine. But yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see how we do with this uh, transfer window. Let's see what uh, Bailey can do the more you get put in this team. Are we going to promote any more youngsters in as well? I'm intrigued. I am very intrigued to see what happens in this transfer window. And granted, I know at the minute it is a little bit of a quiet spell while the uh, games are coming up to Christmas. Uh, one of the things I want to say as well, if you are doing stuff during Christmas or if you are on your own during Christmas, please uh, be out and look out for each other. If there's somebody you know is on their own, please go just make sure they're okay. Uh, I don't I like hearing about people being on their own on Christmas. I've got some family members who are sometimes on their own and we always make sure they've got somewhere, something to do on Christmas Day so we know that they're okay and stuff. So, yeah, this year it's a little bit difficult, for, but hey. Um, also, I am potentially doing a live stream on Friday night. This will be the first one I have done in forever. Uh, if I can get a live stream done Friday night, it'll be the Friday night roundup, which will be the first one in a month. Uh, so please come and join me on that. Uh, we'll have the usual preview. Uh, probably have press conference tomorrow. Uh, preview Friday, game Saturday, and then it's Christmas. There'll be preview up Christmas Eve during the day, uh, like the normal time. Um because we're not really going out and doing much at the minute. Uh, it's just how it is. But thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. And please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I much appreciate it. See you in the next one.